Hey guys, and welcome back to Thrift Shop Finds, where we go out to the thrift shops and see what we can find. Uh, today we went out to Goodwill. Uh, I have two receipts here. Goodwill from Fogelsville, and this was from September 10th of 21. And then I have another receipt from Goodwill Whitehall from September 10th of 21. So same day, different stores. Um, trying to see if this is all Goodwill. It looks like it. Um, I know for a fact that I picked him up at uh, Liberty Thrift in Pottstown. But um, I'll, we're going to reshow three things because Rebecca hasn't seen them because um, I wanted her to see stuff. But I think I've seen most those. of the stuff is from the Goodwill, and we'll go from there. I don't remember what's in the black bag, so I was keeping it a secret even for myself, and uh, we'll remember what's in there. So um, our first segment is Rebecca's favorite find, where Rebecca will tell us what her favorite find is. And then our second segment is Where's Forky? So Big Forky and Little Forky are hidden somewhere on our set. And then from there, we move into uh, showing you what we got. So I did show this to Rebecca already, um, but I wanted to put it with our other snow globe. It's the Clydesdales from Bush Gardens. What did you think of that? I liked it. I love horses. I want to learn how to horseback ride. So. And you said you like snow globes, too true um in my other video i came across a sven and it has like snow on his back like glitter mm -hmm. so i thought maybe you could put it up with your svens oh because they were in the winter time i don't know but he's a sven and you like svens and you don't have that one so i figured you could do that he looks smaller than that one like younger younger yeah and then um the whole binoculars thing. Mm -hmm. There's another pair of binoculars I came across. Ah! I did that each time. So I wanted to do that again. This binoculars is from penguins in Madagascar. And it has a fish connecting them. So I just thought that was cool. That we saw. Um, it was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And that one. And what was the first one? Do you remember? What the first binoculars was it was something i just don't remember what it was offhand right now i forget is it the one i whacked myself with could be i don't know how to work these because either so, my like eyes that? oh got yeah. it wait then what's this other nothing oh is that the wrong way yeah oh got it much better so let's show you what we got um in our first big bag we found I'm not sure if this goes with it, but yes, it does. It's an uh, Atari plug and play um, video game. It's the controller, and then it has video games on here. So it has a whole bunch of games loaded into the system. Asteroids, Centipede, Adventure, Gravatar, Pong, Missile Command, Breakout, Real Sports Volleyball, Circus Atari, and Yars Revenge. If I remember, most of these were Activision games, but I don't know if they all are. Is Activision listed on here? It must be. It says Jack's Pacific. I'm not sure. I have my final thought. I awesome. just can't lose it. So this the is the, uh, used to be what the controller for the Atari looked like, and now it's the whole game system. So you plug it in, you can play all the games right on here. So, pretty cool. I mean, that reminds me of the one game system Bob had, and it was very old. But you, it was like... Like the orange controllers? I think the so. The VTech? Yeah, the VTech. I remember... Yeah. I guess it was like a Toy Story game or something. Mm -hmm. We were playing with that, and I was so, like, impressed that you can play games on the TV. I don't know why, but I was like, whoa. Uh, it, there was a lot of fun VTech games. I love VTech. It was set up like an old Nintendo, um, 
but it wasn't quite as old as that. It was from the early 2000s, I think. Oh. Here is a Thor Love and Thunder tour toy, number seven, uh, Korg. We're not going to open them because we already opened a different one. So, um, I meant to bring batteries down to see if mm. these guys work. But Do ours work? Yeah. Ours work? Uh, two of them do. So I'm hoping these guys work and we can... There, there's three bears with bells and they play a theme together. So... Like... They, one plays off the other one, you know? So one starts, wow. this guy starts here. Did I like, ring, ring the bells? Oh, the light's yeah. a little bit trying to come on, but... Oh, really? Not yeah, so you press the button on this one, make sure the other two are on, and they play ding, da da ding, ding, da da ding, like that. So, very cool, we'll try those so, and like, see Christmas if they work. like Christmas carolers. They are, but we have a set. I think they're from Hallmark, but they did not work. So um, two of the three worked. Maybe we just replace those so, with these. Here is, uh, it says channel9msdn.com, and it is a squishy. So I'm not sure what that is, but we'll look it up. Uh, we have a squishy, oh, that's kind of cool. Squishy cat head. Mm -hmm. It's like a cat face. So you get one of your cat and you can squish his head. Yes. Um, so I'm trying to see where we're at. Move over, guys. Okay, we have uh, two of um, these are from The Simpsons. And they were McDonald's giveaways, I believe. Can't get his feet on there. There we go. Um, so it was uh, Fallout Boy was the name of the character, but that's Millhouse as Fallout Boy because they did a lot of um, Treehouse of Horror dress-ups. But it's up and... And then it says Adam, as in, like, the Adam bomb. Or Adam's oh. apple. Yeah. <laughs> And then Professor Frank, this all goes to him. Professor Frank is the scientist guy. And this potion will lift my career to new heights and it's invisible potion number 13. And as you can see, uh, Professor Frank is turning invisible, so. I remember my dad and then I played it off of him, but the Simpsons tap tap, remember that? Oh, yeah. And get donuts or something. You mm -hmm. had to get donuts. But I don't know why, but when played I played that for years. Because then you can visit each other's land, and my yeah. dad had like so much work done, and mine was just like, what? But I had fun because I could visit your land, and you can click on different yeah. things and collect, what was it, donuts? I can help you, and you can help me. Yeah. And I always liked it because I don't know. This is a nesting doll from Authentic Models, and it's a baseball player. And then what nesting dolls are is they come apart. And then there's another guy, another guy in, inside. So then there's this one. And then he comes apart. And looks like you have the catcher. I'm trying to match that up. Catcher. And then he comes apart, and you have another player. He's uh, missing a piece right there. He comes apart, and then the last one is this little guy in here. Maybe the ball boy? So, pretty cool. That is a Russian nesting doll, but they're not all... Um, Looks like that one's broken. Looking, it is. It's missing a piece. Uh, they're not all like super fancy, girly, uh, I think they're a Stryka nesting dolls. So. Very cool. And then they all fit back in here. Okay, so that leaves us with um, Jeannie. Um, I'm not sure where this bag is from.
but we have a genie action figure from Aladdin. Let me make sure that doesn't fall off. Here is a beast action figure from uh, Beauty and the Beast. He is more or less a bendy, where he you can bend his arms and legs. What else do we have? I'm not sure where these came from. Maybe a yard sale or something. This says Special Forces, and he's still new on the carton. And then. This is the Core Elite. Uh, it says it came from Ollie's originally. Um, and then there are some action figure soldiers in there. And then there is some more guys on the back, as you can see. So we have that. There's a receipt in here. Where's this from? Once again, thrift store in Kutztown on September 10th. So we went to um, Goodwill in Whitehall, Goodwill in Fogelsville, and then out to Kutztown. And that's where I think I was taking your brother tomorrow. Or Wednesday, I'm sorry. Oh, oh to get those record things? Yeah, he wanted record. the LPs. Um, so here is a Parker Brothers game, Waterworks. We had it as a kid, so I figured I'd buy it. Uh, Waterworks is a card game. But it also has some pieces to it, and you had to uh, fix the waterworks so that you could go from one side to the other and uh, win the game. I think it has a date on it. 1972. So this game is... Older than you. Older than me. That is the correct answer. I don't know what that is. Okay, so that is all we have in this grouping, Rebecca. What is your favorite find of the night? Probably the squishy cat. Yeah, I think this might have been like somebody's cat that mm -hmm. they took a picture well, of. Well, if it's your cat, we have it. Yep. Well, I don't have your cat. I no, have yeah, we don't have, <laughs> we don't have your cat. cat. We just have your it's head. Uh, oh, that's even worse. So big Forky's over here. Little Forky's here on the Rubik's Cube of Mario. And that leads us to final thoughts with Rebecca. My final thought, which I proudly did not forget, is I remember we went on this one field trip way, way back. But it was a nature center or something. But you could, they gave us binoculars to look at the birds that you could see in mm -hmm. a tree. And they wanted us to name different birds that we saw. So we each got binoculars, and my friend knew how to work hers. But mine, for some reason, wasn't cooperating with me. Because every time I put them up to my eye, they were black. And I was like, what in the world? So we were walking around, and like, I guess I just won't name any birds. So apparently they came with, like, these caps that you could put mm -hmm. on. And my teacher was like, oh, Rebecca, you never took off the caps. I'm like, oh, okay. So I took the caps off, and I guess I was working magically on, like... Magically you could see. Well, I was like, why are my eyes so spread apart? But I didn't know you could adjust the binoculars yeah. to your eyes. So I'm like trying to look in these things. And I remember I was having such a hard time. And then I figured <laughs> out that you can like adjust them to how you want them. And I'm like, right. I don't think I'm going to be able to work with these anymore. So I just pretended like I saw things. Mm. So it was magical like, birds. Like, yeah, I'm just like, like, oh yeah, I see that. Because they would point out something. I'm like, oh yeah, I see that when it really did. Like your mom and the clay pigeons. Yeah. Just put Very them in nice. your projects and you, it'll count. Excellent final thought. Have a great night and we will see you next time.